Hello there, you're welcome back to Biology Lectures with Akirili Oladimitri Philip. It's my wonderful pleasure to have you with me on the lecture today. So we're moving on to this section of non-communicable diseases and we'll be looking at the coronary heart disease. The coronary heart disease. This is very important. Now looking at the diagram or the picture on the screen, you'll see that this is the heart, of course. Then this segment in the heart seems dark or different and that's because the cells there are dead and why are they, are they dead look at this blood vessel right here it's because the blood vessel has stopped sending blood here because it has been obstructed or occluded in a way so let's take a look at what this means now before we go on to talk about coronary heart disease it might be essential we go quickly over some few things now, the heart is a special cell, of course, it's made up of cardiac cells, which are muscle cells that contract without getting fatigued. Now, it needs what? Oxygen, glucose, and other nutrients. And how does this get there? It gets there by blood supply, so to say. So it gets, because all of these things, um, oxygen, glucose, and other nutrients, is in the blood. And also, because it's working continuously, it's going to accumulate waste products and the waste products all the metabolites also needs to be removed also by what through the blood because blood carry both the good stores and also the waste product as the case may be now and this blood this heart that pumps blood and the body also needs to feed itself and it doesn't do it by absorbing because sometimes people might think of okay how does the heart even get blood supply it doesn't get the blood supply by absorbing. No, it doesn't work that way. It gets it by being supplied by what? Blood vessel called coronary arteries. So in this instance here, we have not just two coronary arteries. We have more than this. We only, I only picked these two out. The left coronary artery and the right coronary artery supplying the different part of the heart like that, so to say. But please pay attention right now. So, as the blood is coming out of the aorta, these two and other ones branched out from that to supply the whole wall of the heart. So, this is the basics of how the heart receives nutrients and how the heart, because uh, how the heart also gets rid of waste product. Also, we have coronary vein. Yes, so we only... I only used coronary artery here for the moment, but we have coronary veins too. So the coronary veins are the ones that we're going to take away the deoxygenated blood and add it to the vein returning back to the heart, so to say. Now let's go on. So this is a further explanation into each of the cardiac cells. So you can see cardiac muscle, it has a lot of mitochondria there, which tells you that it needs a lot of energy because it's working. As a matter of fact, the heart is one of those organs that work at all times. It has been working before we were born. Like it's been working during pregnancy. When it when a fetus is, is at the pregnancy stage, it's been working, like working. So each of the cells has this lot of mitochondria to provide energy, but the energy will only be released when oxygen has been gotten to the cell through the blood. So then, what is coronary heart disease? Now, this is when um, some sort of fat layer blocks the lumen of the coronary arteries. Yes. So this fat deposit is formed from cholesterol, of which there are two types of those. The ones that is in the food we eat, which is largely we can control, which we can catch the control, and the ones that the liver synthesizes. So the point is, Coronary heart disease means when there is an obstruction or deposition or okay, let me say deposit of fat layer along the lumen of the arteries. Let's check this out right now. Good. So this is the blood flowing. See the fatty plaque, or I don't know if it's plaque or plaque based on okay, but let me just stick to, to the plaque here. So here, this is the plaque built up from cholesterol. You can see that. Can you see how the blood is just passing through the small space left? So this should be the normal thing. Then, of course, maybe this could be the, gener the, the, the genesis of the whole thing. There's a tear in the wall. Then the fat start depositing, start building up until one day it totally blocks because of blood 
uh, occlusion or blood um, thrombosis there, so to say. So the truth is, thrombosis means blood clots anyways. So basically, this is like the progression in which it happens. All right. Now, let me go back there too. So please don't forget something here, very important. He says that the ones that dietary, which means once you eat, which is why you might need to watch what you eat. So let's, let's check this out right now. So this is how blood should flow normally, but see what happens. The deposit builds up, then the blood becomes, can you see, the space reduced so greatly. You can watch that once again. Exactly. So that's the basis of 